Okay, well this is the back wheel of my McCain wide wheel and um, because it has an internally geared hubbed motor, people forget about the internally geared, the hub is actually spinning inside some planetary gears which spin and turn the gear around the outside of the hub. It actually has quite an amount of friction and I'm not sure if you can hear the sound of it turning. Let me just bring the camera really close so it'll be out of focus but so that friction is present pretty much all the time even if the motor's going. So um, even though you might not think that there is any friction being applied because the motor is driving itself, there's internal friction. Now let's compare that to the front wheel which has a much easier time of turning because it has no motor in it and just has a bearing which is actually an incredibly good bearing and even with my ear against it I can't hear it so comparatively when you're going along that's providing almost no friction and your rear wheels providing friction so this leads me to wonder if the dual motor version even though it's got about 50% more battery capacity than the single motor version, actually may not get as good a range as the single motor version simply because there's just so little friction. Oh, and by the way, you see how that's sort of like spinning and coming back on itself? That shows how good the bearing is because that's exactly the methodology you use for doing a static balance on a motorcycle wheel.